Hey guys, Steve here, singledadfitdad.com. Thanks for watching. Today I want to talk about something uh, that's come up quite a bit recently. Uh, I've gotten a bunch of emails about this, and it's when your significant other or your partner eats like shit, okay? And, and for, I know for a lot of you guys, just getting started, getting momentum, and starting to create healthy habits, eating better, uh, eating more frequently, and, and better foods, uh, it's hard enough but when you have you know a girlfriend or or somebody that you're dating or even a wife um, for some of you uh, that is not on board uh, and and has uh, you know some some much worse habits you know maybe they don't exercise maybe they eat like shit they eat out all the time they drink a lot whatever it is that can be a real problem and I'll tell you guys <clears throat> to be honest when I was married. Um, you know, a, a lot of um, the healthy habits that I had adopted beforehand uh, kind of went out the window because all of a sudden you're caught up in, in somebody else's habits, right? It just becomes easier. And, and when somebody's not motivated to uh, become healthier, uh, it has a toxic effect on you. And that's what happened to me in my marriage. And I know it happens to a lot of guys. And now that, uh, you know, most of you that are watching this are, are single and maybe you're dating again or have a, a serious relationship, but um, it, it's really important that you're on the same page uh, from, from that perspective as your partner, okay? Because if you are, are desperately wanting to get fit and healthy and live a better quality of life and they don't, uh, it's going to be a real struggle, just to be honest with you. It's going to be a very a, a big struggle. And I know a lot of you are struggling right now with this exact thing. So first understand, you can't change anybody, right? You know, when I, um, when I was married, um, you know, I really wanted my ex-wife to change. I wanted to change her habits. I wanted her to exercise and, and want to eat healthy. But as much as I pushed it on her, uh, you know, it just essentially pushed her away. I mean, we tried all kinds of diets. We tried hiring trainers. I tried to train her. I mean, all these things that happened, and they didn't work because she didn't want it, okay? And if you're dealing with somebody like that, you know, you have some obstacles to face. But if you're in a new relationship and you know you really want this to work out, you know I, I really believe that it's important to be on the same page. And, and it's not always the case, but here are some things um, that you can do to help with that. I mean, like I said, you can't change what a person intrinsically wants to do. You know, if they don't want to get fit, if they don't want to eat chicken and broccoli and, and healthy foods every day, you can't force that on them. So understand that. But you can do some things that may you know kind of change their mindset over time and this is what i'm going to talk about here so first thing you can do is say no to their temptations so when they come home and say i'm starving let's just grab a pizza no you know and this is not easy none of this stuff is going to be easy to do because you know we get in habits it's so it's so easy to just say oh yeah sure sure let's grab you know let's go grab a quick bite to eat um, so when those things happen, you have to stand firm and say, no, I'm not going to do that. You know, whether they choose to or not, you know, you can't help that. If they want to go out and have dessert and whatever, you know, you just have to stand your ground and say no. Okay. Ask for their input. So instead of saying, hey, I need you to do this with me. I need you to be healthy. I need you to, to help me with this. Ask for their input. Hey, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, doing this paleo diet. You know, what do you think about it? What do you know about it? Get their their feedback their input you know maybe they'll do some research maybe they'll read a book maybe they'll watch a, you know a video on it give you their input in, and, and maybe it plants a seed in their head and they say hey you know what maybe this this may work for me too maybe I'll give it a try okay so so instead of approaching it from an angle of saying you need to change it's hey you know what do you think about this um, throw down a challenge this uh, <clears throat> works really well for me uh, my, my current girlfriend and I you know, we're fit, you know, we're healthy, but, you know, we certainly have our weaknesses. You know, we do love to eat out. You know, we, we kind of indulge in some things we probably shouldn't. So every now and then, we'll throw down the challenge. We're both competitive people, and when we both decide, hey, we've had enough of doing this, <clears throat> let's really focus on getting fit for the next two months or three months, whatever it is, we throw down a challenge. Okay. First one to lose X number of pounds, or first one to you know to drop more percentage body fat in in a, a certain amount of time, and then we make a a specific goal uh, for ourselves, and then we have a specific prize, you know, whatever it could be for you. Maybe it's hey, the other one, the loser has to must give the other one an hour massage um, once a week for for a month, or whatever it is. Make it something that is going to motivate you. 
okay? Um, for me personally, our last bet was the loser had to take my youngest daughter, who's seven, to the dollar store, which we both despise, with $20 in ones. And so this is a girl that um, she will spend an hour in a dollar store with $2. So you can imagine how painful it's going to be for the loser to sit there and watch her look at every little piece of junk in the store. It's painful. So neither one of us want to lose. Okay. Um, be responsible for the shopping and the cooking. You know, if you go out and do all that, you know, your, your, your significant other has to either go out and, and do it herself and get other stuff or deal with it. Okay. Right now, you know, we kind of split the cooking in my relationship. Uh, actually, it's more like 90, 10, I do the cooking. The shopping is, is split pretty evenly, um, but you know, it's up to me. So if she comes home, she's hungry, you know, and I cook something healthy, that's what she's gonna eat, okay? Um, and then the last thing, you know, make it, make it interesting, make it fun, try new stuff together, okay? Like I said, you're not gonna convince her to, to eat super healthy because just because you want to, it's not gonna work like that. Try it together, go to a new restaurant, try sushi together, try something healthy together and you know, maybe you both hate it, maybe you both love it, maybe it starts a new habit for both of you. Uh, and at the same token, you know, if, you, if you're wanting your significant other to be more um, active and, and you want them to be more fit and exercise, you know, find activities and don't put it on her to do all the work. You do the work, you find the hikes, you find the events, you find the things, you know, schedule a, um, you know, a 5K or, or some kind of mud run or a zombie run or something, uh, you know, a 10 mile hike in a beautiful uh, area, something like that. You know, be creative, have fun with it, and you never know. I mean, it, you literally could turn the tides and change, you know, her, her mindset. And that's kind of the idea is, you know, you guys really want to both be on the same page with this, you know, eating healthy, living, a, you know, better quality, active life. Okay. So, uh, let me know below, you know, what you're struggling with, with your partner right now, and we will talk with you soon.